What's going on guys, Alec here from Oz Fury Gaming. Today I'm here to talk about the Hammerhead and the Hawk, the two new concept ships that have been released during the weekend of the anniversary sale. The Hammerhead, if you aren't aware, is a 100 meter long gunboat that's literally designed for anti-aircraft fire, and the Hawk is a really light fighter that's designed for bounty hunting. Now, I'm going to delve into both of these ships, but to start us off with, let's get into the Hammerhead. So the Hammerhead is a UEE Navy vessel that's built by Aegis, uh, its pure design is for taking out small, medium, and large ships. And ships that aren't exactly hugely ship-to-ship uh, -ship combat, such as your Polaris or your Idris. So, it's also an escort ship or a patrol ship. Uh, in the brochure, it talks about how the UEE are uh, partnering the Hammerhead with Polaris's to make an excellent, formidable force with attack and defense within the same unit. So, as we can see here, the Hammerhead, even though it's classed as a large ship, has medium to large components. It has six uh, size 4 turrets, so it's got size 4 guns on it, and it's four guns per turret. So when you work that out, that's a lot of guns. Also, 32 size 3 missiles come on four different racks. Now as we look here, like I said, it's a 100 meter long ship, 40 meter wide beam, and 20 meters high. Now there's not much else except for the SCU, which is our cargo capacity, at 40 so you can take a few things um, but yeah it's a heavy gun ship it's designed for taking out ships of you know bombers fighters so imagine like you know, your gladiator your retaliator it's what it's designed to take out now as we can see here from the uh, hold viewer it's actually quite a nice looking ship in regards to its aesthetics as well as its cosmetics so we have a turret up on top and four around the side of the ship allowing for great visibility and great um, damage dealing I suppose you could call it uh, but one thing that I did notice though is well a couple of things first of all um, it's quite thin so navigating asteroids is going to be a bit of a pain uh, also too there are no turrets underneath the ship so if you got a fighter that was nimble enough to get actually get close enough to this vessel which would be pretty good going um, and you could get right underneath it you could actually quite seriously uh, do a lot of damage also, too, note that the uh, cockpit or the bridge is underneath the ship, not on top. Fairly different sort of outlet lane. So there's that other turret at the rear that were followed by the engines, which really it makes sense to have a turret at the rear. You need to keep those engines safe. Uh, now, they say it's meant to be a light ship, so obviously it, I reckon it be relying on shields a lot. So if you did buy the ship and you go into in-game, uh, first thing that I'm going to be doing is looking for an upgradable um, shield array to really buffer my defenses when it comes to taking hits against larger ships and then also too we have this funky little hole in the middle interesting design choice not sure what it's for uh, i could imagine something like an m50 interceptor or something doing a little flyby going through the middle of that uh, if the game doesn't cause any weird physics bugs but yeah so the hammerhead's quite a stable unit in my opinion now this is all theory crafting and stat given you know there's actually no physical look and speaking about physical looks, uh, the wide view doesn't really give us much to look at, but also too in the ATV, there's a lot of 3D modelling being done on this ship, so it wouldn't surprise me if these things probably about halfway through the pipeline. You know, they've finished the exterior, now they're going to work on the interior, and then, you know, on and on with the physics meshes and all that other stuff, and the um, damage states. If you haven't seen what that's all about, go check out the ATVs, they've got heaps of info on the pipelines. So, like all ships, they cost... And the Hammerhead, in my opinion, is a very reasonable price. 605 US dollars, including that 10% Australian GST tax. Uh, that's for the uh, Warbond version. Then 715 USD. Now, the GST is put on for the Warbond, uh, for the non Warbond version, sorry. So you've got to take off like 11% of what that price would be. So it comes at $650. So, on to the Hawk. So, we just went over a big ship that's designed for taking out fighters. Now let's talk about lightweight fighter that's designed for taking people uh, for bounty hunting purposes. So the Hawk doesn't actually have any missiles, to put it out there, and is quite a nimble fighter. Uh, when I first saw it, I thought it was going to be a competitor to the Gladius, and it is, but in a different way. The Gladius is more designed for heavy fighting, and that's all it does, patrolling, that sort of jizz. But the good old Hawk here really is a bit different you know it can fight it can do security purposes but it's sort of more of your real casual fighter in my opinion like i said having no missiles will be a real pain but it does have six size one guns so that makes up for it in my opinion 
Now, as we look at the technical overview, you will note that there is size 2 guns, but if you click on it, it says it only comes with size 1s, so you can upgrade to size 2 later, which is really handy. Now, everything is small, except the main thruster, which is a medium size, so I do expect this ship to be very quick, but it's not all that it's made out to be. I was really interested to see that when we actually come across to our uh, more stats or technical stats, 200 SCM speed and 500 meters per second speed in the afterburner, which really is pretty slow when you compare that to the Gladius. The Gladius has 1200 meters per second afterburner speed and 220 meters per second SCM speed. Now we don't know what the uh, maneuvering is going to be like compared to Gladius and Hawk, but I imagine the Hawk should be faster. Now the Hawk is reasonably priced too, a little bit less than the uh, good old Gladius, but it's still worth its money in my opinion. Eighty-eight dollars there, including that GST from Australia for the war bond, and then ninety-nine there for the non-war bond version. I would see the ship being really handy for newcomers as well. Being lightweight and able to be a bounty hunting ship means it's more than just a standard off run of the mill thing, and being more modern, more powerful compared to an adventure series perhaps. So as we take a look at the hold viewer here, we'll note that the Hawk is quite similar to what the Hornet is with just parts hanging off here and there. Now, as realistically, I don't see that working. Having fold-up wings and stuff, yes, it's really cool. Yes, it has great aesthetics, but I'm not sure if it works. But we have four of those size one guns underneath, two right there in the middle, one on each side on the wing. Then when we look on top, we have two sort of if you see the center part of the ship each side of them there's guns hidden away they're well protected so i do like that how they're nicely stuck away and having high maneuverability which i expect this ship to have i don't see the need for gimbals i would be curious to know which guns get the size two i reckon it'll be the two guns on the underside of the wing now, as we look at the back here we can see those engines the medium engines i should say and i believe i've well, been led to believe that this center console piece that's behind the engine is actually meant to be where you put your prisoner. So, I'm just imagining if you're a prisoner and this bounty hunter's gone to a firefight and you're just hanging out the arse end while getting shot at, I reckon it'd be funny as hell. It's just, oh, bad times. So, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and got something out of it. Uh, there's going to be one more ship for sale, which will be from the Consolidated Outlands. And then also, too, in the happy hour, they're going to be looking at the new drake uh, concept ship so it'll be interesting to see what goes on there so thanks for joining in guys hope to catch you guys around the verse and uh, enjoy the anniversary sale toodaloo